at court. President Ichirema was allowed to go to the police. He came to the grounds, the Supreme Court grounds with his supporters and he will not let the PF practice a trial. As a matter of fact, this reminds me of the mm. fact that I was Minister of Justice when I issued an instruction that people were free to go to court but the only thing we stopped was them wearing political regalia. I stopped that and the reason I said stop this was because we were fearful of the fact that if we allow people to go in political regalia at courts, there may be clashes. People can be free. We didn't stop anyone from going to court. When Hagainde was appearing in court, like you were saying, he was going with a horde of supporters. He was busing people from outside Lusaka, bringing them to courtrooms. Each time he appeared at the police station, he was going with busloads of people. This is how even some people are being shot at because of trying to control the crowds. That's how unfortunately some people were killed. All that was because of the making of other India, bringing a horde of people. Now, he is president, and remember he campaigned on the basis of being a Democrat, and that is going to allow freedom of expression, freedom of movement. He is now curtailing freedom of expression, because whenever I, now that I'm saying this, I'm sure that he's going to tell the police arrest him, because he's alarming the nation, arrest him. He will do that, and he still says he's a, a Democrat. He is stopping people's freedom of movement. He is even curtailing people's access to justice institutions. Can you imagine going to a police station and you're stopped? I was going to a police station when Fred member was uh, incarcerated. I was going there to report a police accident and the police stopped me. And they said, no, go to another police station. Where? In which country do you have a situation where you need a, 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 an appointment to go to a police station? Zambia has literally become a police state under Haga in the So Zambians, my message to you, be resilient. There is only one year left. And your decisions must be seen now. Don't wait for 2026. Start now. Start speaking out now that 2026 Haga in there must be stopped. Because if you don't tell him now, he will think that he can rig elections. Because that's all he's working towards. As far as we're concerned, he's working towards rigging elections and this is the reason why he now wants to start eliminating competition. You don't eliminate competition by stopping people, you eliminate competition by doing good. If he was to do very well like Edgar, Edgar Lungu did, then people have no reason whatsoever to vote for another person. The fact that he's doing this is because he himself is fully alive to the fact that he is a total faith. He has failed on all grounds. The only thing on which he has succeeded is to show us how insincere he is, how dishonest he is, and how deceptive he is. There he has scored 100% mark. I don't think that there is any person I know who can qualify as a deceitful man as Aga in the He is a great deceiver. And I don't know what other name can fit him, but whoever is made of deception, that is him. Hi, lovely viewers. It's me again, your one and only Mtatim Pondo. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Sounds like a laughable matter. Yes. But it's uh, not a laughable matter at all. It's laughable only to the extent that uh, it exposes no one else but Haga in the Hijidem and exposes him for his cowardice. He's an extreme coward. The essence of stopping the leaders of the Patriotic Front from entering court premises when Edgar Lungu is appearing is to tread the window dress and hoodwink the Zambians and the public at large, the international community especially, that Edgar Lungu is a loner, that Edgar Lungu has no support. You know, the whole thing emanates from the fact that Haga Inde Hidema is scared stiff of the popularity that Edgar Lungu enjoys. Now, 
so that people are not misled, let me make it crystal clear that there are many, many, many people who wanted to be in the court premises today. There are many people who desire to attend court, even just from outside, each time Edgar Lungu appears. Testimony of this is when he first appeared in court. Pictures are there to, to show, videos are there to show how the whole court premises were besieged by Edgar Lungu's supporters. It will be recalled that uh, the UPND even had to hire students from university and dress them up to appear as though there was any resistance. And yet, when we met those students, when we were driving past those students, what were they doing? They were raising PF symbols, showing that they were just hired mercenaries who went there because they wanted to be paid a little bit of money. But in their spirit, they were with Edgar Chagun. The police that they have put around the court premises, wherever I have driven, and I'm saying this without even fearing that those people will be reprimanded, those people will be punished. But the truth of the matter is that wherever I was driving, the police are smiling at me. The police are actually saying, go on, go on. Mm. What does that mean? It means that even the police who are there are there only as the bodies, not spirits. In their spirit, they are supporting Edgar Chagun. It is just that they are performing a function because they are state employees. Mm. So they are actually just robots. They are standing there as robots. The inside of them is in support of Edgar Chagulu. Many members of the Central Committee, led by myself, have tried to enter those court premises to go and give solidarity and support to our leader, to our president. So, in case Hagainde thinks that he can wink people, it's too cheap a strategy, very cheap strategy. All that we have to do is to just show people the videos of yesterday's appearance of Edgar Lungu at church. There was a multitude of people. Why? Do you think people went there because they don't like Lungu? Were they booing at Lungu? No. People were jubilant. They were jubilating the presence of Edgar Lungu. So the truth of the matter is that we are in great support of Edgar Changwalungu and there are many people both in Zambia and in diaspora who are in support of Edgar Lungu in this matter. And no sort of mingalato who try to demean the support and popularity that Edgar Changwalungu is enjoying. What are your views about this heavy, the way they've heavily fortified the Supreme Court grounds, the number of police officers at even second from Chikwa up to Intercontinental. They've even restricted a, a private business Intercontinental. They've put police at the gate. Yes, this shows you that uh, we're being governed by tyrants. And you know tyrants are cowards and they use force. This is exactly what he's doing. Hagainde has never been and shall never be a Democrat. This is the reason why he's turning now to lawfare and now he's turning the country into a police state. Cowards, tyrants, dictators always shield themselves by abusing institutions of governance, by abusing especially the police and the military. You will recall that Hagen did them not too long ago actually chastised the police and said if you don't act, I'm going to use the army. You can imagine a president who is willing to use armed men and women on his own citizens. There is no democracy who does that. It is only dictators who do that. And dictators are dictators not because they are strong men. Dictators are dictators because they are weak souls. They are cowards. Democrats are strong people. They are willing to face challenge squarely and fairly. Cowards can never face challenge without turning to power. That's all they know. Haga Inde doesn't know anything else but power. And for him, power is in the hands of the police. For him, power is in the hands of the military. To run the country and turn it into a police state is not a tenant of democracy at all. And Haga Inde is just exposing his cowardice and exposing his weakness of leadership. Uh, President Edgar Lungu has called this hearing um, uh, 
literally as a sham, he has expressed concern that the judiciary appear to be uh, cowing to the pressure of state house because the petitioners in this matter are, are literally stooges of UPND and and state house. And he has said he has appealed to the judiciary not to participate in political schemes because as an independent arbiter and the last refuge for justice, they should not participate in political schemes. Do you have any message in relation to this matter? My message to citizens of Zambia is that Zambia is not an island. Zambia, yes, is a sovereign state. But remember that the rights of human beings go beyond the borders of Zambia. Human rights are international rights. And if you think that you can demean or sit on somebody's rights locally, don't you think that they cannot appeal to other institutions that superintend over the rights of human beings? So, Hagainde can play his gimmicks, Hagainde can play his mingalato, but his uh, authority is limited to the borders of Zambia. And yet, the rights of human beings go beyond the boundaries of Zambia. President Lungu exercised his right to a fair hearing. And this is enshrined in the constitution of Zambia, that everyone shall be accorded a fair hearing. Who is it that is going to determine that this is a fair hearing if it is not the parties in the matter? The fairness of a judicial sitting is not to be assessed by other people. It is to be assessed by the people who are affected, the people who are being heard. And if a person sits and says, no, wait a minute, I know something about you, Magistrate, which gives me an impression that you will not hear me fair. I don't have to even go and prove it. Just the mere fact that I have a suspicion that you will not hear me fair is enough ground for you to recuse yourself. Because whatever decision you arrive at, the fact that I've already told you that I perceive of you as being unfair, whether you rule in my favor or not, I will still say your determination of the matter was prejudiced. It may be prejudiced positively towards me because I raised the concern. And that is not fair. So whatever the outcome, the fact that one of the parties has said, sorry, I don't trust you. You, you're being fair. I, I fear you are biased. That in itself puts the whole hearing in jeopardy. And it is uh, sad that when President Edgar Lungu said, please, can you hear me in a fair and square manner? And to do so, can you remove these people because I have these and these concerns about these people? And the same people are the ones who castigate him and castigate his lawyers and say, we shall still hear you. I mean, this whole thing is the wrong ab initio. As far as I'm concerned, right from the start, the whole thing is a shambles. And for me, I don't care what the outcome is. The, for me, the mere fact that one of the parties to the matter has said you are not a balanced and fair bench, that in itself makes the whole thing biased. The PF is under attack. There's been an attempt to steal the party, give it to a stooge. Now your leading candidate, President Ed Galungu, uh, there are these very, for, you know, very forceful attempts to stop him from being on the ballot in 2026. What do you say to our members and what do you say to Zambians? You know, the one thing that we must not forget is that all institutions of governance, according to our constitution, borrow their authority from the people. That must not be lost sight of. The executive, the judiciary, the legislature, they all borrow power from the people. The power that they exercise, they exercise it for and on behalf of the people. And the people must not be blinded to think that it is only through voting that people can exercise their right. No. People can exercise their right to be heard in many other ways. 
many, many others. Now, to stop Ed Galungu from participating in an election does not necessarily mean that you have won. No. Because, you know, you can force people to go and vote. And if they say we're not voting, what happens? Because people can simply say, well, we see that you are stopping other people from participating and therefore we're not going to vote. What will come out of that election? No. So people must not think that Zambians are so gullible, that Zambians can be forced to do things against their will. They still have the power. The Zambians have the power. And the only thing that Nada Ende has to do is to accept the fact that this is a democracy and the people who are qualified to contest elections at all levels must be allowed. There is no reason whatsoever for Nada Ende now to use surrogates to challenge Edgar Lungu's eligibility to contest an election, which he already contested. I mean, let's assume that Edgar Lungu was not qualified to contest the 2021 election. Then we'll ask, who did Haga Inde beat? Who was his con contestant in 2021? Did he go into the elections alone? What happens to the votes that Edgar Lungu got? Because then it can be claimed that, well, the fact that Edgar Lungu was not qualified to contest and he was allowed to contest, he took away votes which would have gone to another person. And because of his participation and people who didn't like Edgar Lungu gave Haga Inde the vote. So if the whole election is challenged. So we are putting ourselves in harm's way by this Mingala. And people must think through these things. They must not act emotionally. They must act in the best interest of the country. As far as we are concerned, Edgar Lungu participated in the 2021 elections and the law did not stop him. The law cannot stop him now. You cannot apply the law retrospectively. If indeed we made a mistake in 2021, so be it we are, have set a precedence which unfortunately we just have to follow. We cannot amend what we did wrong. If there was a mistake, we are stuck to that mistake. And we learn from we, it. And we just have to learn from it for the future. But we cannot redo it. We cannot undo what we did in 2021, unfortunately. So irrespective of the outcome of the, the court ruling, the fact that Edgar Lungu participated in the 2021 election means that he was qualified. If he wasn't, then the same mistake can be carried into 2026. Mm. If you see what I mean, the, the fact that we already allowed him to participate, unless if Hagaide is willing, mm. that the whole 2021 process must be brought to a nullity. But what are the consequences of that? The consequences of that are that Edgar Lungu goes back into State House and arranges fresh elections for 2021. Now, what about all the decisions that have been made between 2021 and now? What about the appointments that have been made? What about the emoluments that have been paid? What about the commitments that they have made on behalf of the Zambian people? This has far-reaching ramifications and people must not play around. So I want to appeal to the Zambians to be watchful over this matter. This is a break or make matter. It is not a small matter. And this is, I have to emphasize this, this is not Edgar Lungu on trial. This is Zambia itself on trial. This is Zambia's constitution on trial. This is Zambia's legitimacy as a sovereign state on trial. It's not a small matter. This is a very serious matter. And I suppose that Hagaende is so scared. He thinks that if he allows you, the supporters of the patriotic front, you, the supporters of Edgar Lungu, you, the supporters of democracy, are to be at court, you will show the whole world that you are dissatisfied with what is happening. But look, it is not just the presence at court which will show the dissatisfaction of Zambia. All that it takes is just any intelligent person to go around the streets and ask. Everybody will tell you that they are not amazed, amused by this. They are not happy with what is happening in the country because it is Zambia's sovereignty that is being put on the test. Thank you very much. Any last word? My last word is to members of the Don't you be cowed. Don't. 
those young recruits in those blue uniforms that they are abusing are with you. They are with you. Yes, you are law abiding. Yes, you are fearful of the police. Yes, it's understandable that you know that your leaders are being picked every day. They are picking us, taking us into police stations. As I speak now, our Secretary General is languishing in a cell. More than 48 hours after he was picked, he has not appeared before any court of law. Yes, this is what is creating fear in you. But bear in mind, you can show the fear outward, but inward, what you must have is the strength, the will to make sure that we salvage this country from this trajectory of going downstream, going into becoming a banana republic. Because that's all what is, is happening. Never ever in the history of Zambia have you seen that a court is surrounded by the police, that a court has become a, an exclusive place. Even when we're hearing treason cases, we never saw the police stopping people from entering a court because a court is a public place. A court. President Dichilema was allowed to go to the police. He came to the grounds, the Supreme Court grounds with his supporters and he will not let the PF practice a trial. As a matter of fact, this reminds me of mm. the fact that I was Minister of Justice when I issued an instruction that people were free to go to court but the only thing we stopped was them wearing political regalia. I stopped that and the reason I said stop this was because we were fearful of the fact that if you allow people to go in political regalia at courts, they may be clashes. People can be free. We didn't stop anyone from going to court. When Hagainde was appearing in court, like you were saying, he was going with a horde of supporters. He was busing people from outside Nusak, bringing them to courtrooms. Each time he appeared at a police station, he was going with busloads of people. This is how even some people are being shot at because of trying to control the crowds. That's how unfortunately some people were killed. All that was because of the making of other India, bringing a horde of people. Now, he is president and remember he campaigned on the basis of being a democrat and that is going to allow freedom of expression, freedom of movement. He is now attaining freedom of expression because whenever I, now that I'm saying this, I'm sure that he's going to tell the police arrest him because he's alarming the nation. Arrest him. He will do that. And he still says he's a, a democrat. Huh? He is stopping people's freedom of movement. He is even curtailing people's access to justice institutions. Can you imagine going to a police station and you are stopped? I was going to a police station when Fred Member was uh, incarcerated. I was going there to report a police accident and the police stopped me. And they said, no, go to another police station. Where? In which country do you have a situation where you need a, 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 an appointment to go to a police station? Zambia has literally become a police state under Haga in the So Zambians, my message to you, be resilient. There is only one year left and your decisions must be seen now. Don't wait for 2026. Start now. Start speaking out now that 2026 Haga in there must be stopped. Because if you don't tell him now, he will think that he can rig elections. Because that's all he's working towards. As far as we're concerned, he's working towards rigging elections. And this is the reason why he now wants to start eliminating competition. You don't eliminate competition by stopping people. You eliminate competition by doing good. If he was to do very well like Edgar, Edgar Lungu did, then people have no reason whatsoever to vote for another person. The fact that he's doing this is because he himself is fully alive to the fact that he is a total failure. He has failed on all grounds. The only thing on which he has succeeded is to show us how insincere he is, how dishonest he is, and how deceptive he is. There he has scored 100% mark. I don't think that there is any person I know who can qualify as a deceitful 
man as other in the village but he's a great deceiver and i don't know what other name can fit him but whoever is made of deception that is him mm. vice president thank you very much thank you very much and uh, like president lungu says if you want to be reelected just work just work but he has failed to work i think that's why he has seen a loss thank you vice president and let's try to go back to this court where they've stopped us all right that's all right for you today lovely viewers if you did enjoy the video please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below i'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers once again i go by the name of mtatim pondum i love you peace i gotta go